What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kevlar 82 TV, your positive core culture channel. Today, we're going to be going over my build, man. I know I cover a lot of cars in the car community, and I always cover other people's car, but uh, I don't give enough attention to my uh, 2014 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 Ultimate manual transmission gotta say it all man so this is project batman wheel for you guys that are new to the channel it's your first time watching welcome to my channel um dude this is my car this is my beautiful batmobile dude i love it very much so we're gonna start up uh go ahead and go through the build of what i've done to the car so far newest thing addition to the car as you guys notice the friends that know me that i've been running stock for the longest time finally got some uh got some wheels on it dude so uh, we're gonna start with the build i'm running um vordovan Form nines, uh, the size is 19 by nine and a half plus 22 offset all around. It's a square setup. Uh, as far as tires, I'm running Federal ST ones. I'm running a 255 40 in the rear and a 245 35 in the front. Um, sitting on 10 mowing springs. Uh, and going through the mods as far as what's under the hood, pretty much basically stock. I'm running my uh, 3.8 performance uh, engine leash. Uh, helps out with the acceleration and, uh, and uh, basically like a, um, like a slight engine mount. Uh, I'm running my engine short ram intake, which is uh, slightly wrapped in some uh, gold foil for uh, heat insulation and try to keep the piping cool on the intake. Um, which was done by the previous owner, not the best looking, but uh, it's done by the previous owner. Uh, going down the line, as far as uh, exhaust mods, I deleted my secondary cats um, by the way of Depot test pipes. I'm running Depot test pipes and uh, pretty much uh, stock all the way through into I, uh, my recent mod that I added to the car was um, a muffler delete, which uh, was done by a muffler shop that uh, will be listed in the next video. We're gonna get more in depth with that and we'll give them a shout out also. And moving on to the next mod, I have a, a Megan Racing transmission mount, which is another thing that helps out with the shifting and everything like that. One of the last mods for the car that I have is um, a throttle controller. It's called a booster, a throttle booster uh, provided by 3.8 Performance. I did an install video and a review on that. I will leave the link to those in the bio for more information on that part and uh, where you can get them, 3.8performance.com. Make sure you follow my main number one sponsor with uh, Dustin Davis, 3.8 Performance. I'm shouting him out so much. Um, he's uh, the one that really uh, is responsible for a lot of these parts that are on my car, either provided by his website or helped me install them or advised me and gave me. he's always giving me help, so he's a good friend of mine. Um, as far as the future plans for the car, obviously, I want to upgrade the suspension and go with uh, coilovers, like you know, with everybody else. Um, I also want to. I'm thinking about possibly changing the color of the rims, but I will stick with the bronze for now. It's a good look on the car, but Project Batmobile has to be all blacked out, of course. Uh, as far as any cosmetic, um, as you can see, I have the headlights and the fog lights done, inspired by the 1989 Batmobile. Hence the. Uh, custom plate in the rear which is another mod that adds about 20 20 horsepower <laughs> but yeah so basically the the uh the custom plate on the rear stands for 89 batmobile inspired by the 1989 batman movie uh that batmobile with michael keaton which is my number one favorite um <laughs> so yeah that's inspiration for the build yeah as far as uh, any other uh future cosmetic uh upgrades to the car uh, i'm keeping it hush hush i have some plans um still penciling some stuff and jotting some stuff down. I have a graphic designer in my back pocket. I'm keeping that all hush hush because uh, I don't want to name no names and not end up working with certain people. But I do have people that are my friends and people that are very talented that I'm going to work with. And when that time comes, um, I'll introduce you to them. You probably already know them, but I'm keeping the future projects of this car kind of hush because I'm waiting till I actually go through with it because I don't like to say things and then not do it. But uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing, man. I got some sick decals for this car, man. Uh, it's gonna, you know, make it stand out a little bit different from the other Genesis Coupes out there. Obviously, it already does. This is my Batmobile. Um, thank you for watching, checking out my channel, dude. I have so many uh, more videos for this car. Uh, I actually have a front splitter in my garage. I'm gonna be working on that. I'm gonna be putting that on the car. That's the newest thing that I'll be working on. Uh, the next video after this will be the video uh, revealing the, the small process of uh, 
of the uh, muffler delete or whatever. So the sh me going to the shop and, uh, and getting it installed and me driving it, testing out my wife's reactions. <laughs> wow, you gotta watch that one. That video is gonna be awesome. That video is, is gonna be pretty lit. So uh, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned in the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Remember you can follow me on all social media platforms. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. All Kevlar82. I keep it very simple for everybody. So a lot of people ask me, oh, you got a TikTok, a TikTok, <laughs> sorry. You have a TikTok account, but I don't know what it is. I'm like, it's the same as all everything. I keep everything very simple so that everybody, you know, they can memorize it very. Kevlar82 across all social media platforms. Um, and like I say at the end of all my videos, I'll remember, see the glasses half full, not half empty. It's your boy Kevin Smiley signing out. Kevlar82 TV. Peace.